Welcome to video 17, where we'll look at how to use external storage for recordings on your Yaystar S-Series phone system. Hi, I'm Darzuk, Senior Trainer, and this is video 17, how to use external storage with your Yaystar S-Series phone system. So we're going to be looking at uh, a couple different types of storage methods. One is the SD card, another one is USB, uh, a third one is a hard drive, and then the fourth one is a Windows computer. So not all of these methods are available on all the uh, the S-Series phone systems. For instance, the hard drive is only available in the S300. Uh, the SD card is available on the S50, the S100, and the S300. Uh, uh, the USB is only the 100 and the 300. And then the Windows uh, external storage is available across all of them all line. So let's jump in and see how this is done. Okay, so this is a Yaster S300 phone system and it has all of the different options uh, for recording the audio. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings and then we're going to go over to general and we're going to have a look at recording. Now under recording you can see that there's a storage location here so we're going to click on that and it's going to list the different options that we have here. So on the S300 we can use a hard drive, we can use a USB uh, or solid state uh, drive. There's also the option of setting up uh, a network drive to record to your Windows computer and we'll have a look at that as well. Now really important before you uh, add any of these storage methods your S300 or any of the models of the S uh, series needs to be turned off. So I'm going to turn it off. We're going to first install uh, an SD card and then we'll come back and uh, see how to configure that. Okay, so this is the uh, Yaystar S300 that we're using. On the back, uh, you can see we have the power on, there's a power switch here, and you do need to make sure this is turned off when you're installing media. Uh, we've got the uh, network cable plugged into the LAN jack, and of course console and WAN on either side. Uh, there is an SD card slot here, as well as a USB, so we'll be using the USB as well. Now this is my SD card. Uh, you can see it's quite small. And what we're going to do is while the unit is turned off, we simply place it in here, press it in all the way, and it clicks into place. And then so when it's fully installed, uh, you can't even see it sticking out. So let's jump in and uh, see what the console has to say. Okay, so here we are back in the interface. We've been, we've uh, placed the SD card in. You can see here it says error format. So the first thing we need to do is format this card for the format required uh, by the Yaystar S series phone system. So we're going to simply go in here and start formatting it. So you can see here it uh, does take a bit of time. We're going to pause the video and then come back when it's uh, finished. Okay, so we're at 97% uh, now. Uh, our next step after this is going to be configuring uh, the card and uh, this card as a storage location. Okay, so uh, format is successful. Uh, what you can see here is now we're going to refresh the screen. back in, uh, recordings, storage location, and you can see here it's now available. So in terms of the different uh, locations, we can go in here uh, and select uh, this uh, solid state drive, or sorry, the, uh, uh, the SD card as our location. Also for the CDRs, it becomes available for each and every one of these. Let's have a look at the USB and then the hard drive. Okay, so we've inserted a USB uh, drive into here and again it says air format. So uh, same thing, we need to go in here and 
press the format button, it's going to erase everything on the disk to place it in a Yaystar uh, Linux format. So we're going to uh, wait on here. As you can see, this does take a fair bit of time, so we're going to pause the video again. Okay, so we paused the video because of how long it normally takes. It was actually quite a bit faster than the SD card format. So we're going to click OK. Uh, and then what we need to do is go back in and refresh the screen. So I'm just going to click on Recording and Storage Locations again. Uh, and uh, you can see now that a USB is available. And uh, we can now select that. Uh, as a destination as well. So the third way of storing uh, recordings and voicemail and logs and, and CDRs is on the hard drive. And the hard drive is an option that's only available on the S300. Uh, so let's hop in and see how that's done. So here we have the Yaystar S300 phone system with the uh, cover off. Now there's six screws that are required to take off the cover. Uh, the, the S300 also comes with a hard drive bracket, two and a half inch, and five screws. Uh, and so what, that's going to get placed right in here. So the first thing we we'll want to do is mount it on. Now you can see here the back screw here, and uh, you want the uh, four screws at the bottom of here to match up down here so okay, so there is the four screws attached they don't need to be incredibly tight just snug now make sure that the power is off it's essential that the power is off when you're doing this and we're simply going to uh, press it up against here and slide it into place now there is a screw hole at the back here and that's to secure the drive and so we simply go in like that now once this is done we want to put the cover back on and then turn the the power on and then we'll go through formatting uh, and configuring this drive the hard drive is now recognized by the system uh, unlike the other uh, storage types this one doesn't require uh, it to be configured in format but I recommend that you do that anyways uh, now this is going to delete anything that is currently on this hard drive okay so we're successfully formatted so we're gonna have a look in here and you can see that there is a hard drive choice that's now available that you can select for each of the different uh, storage locations Okay, we're going to look at the fourth way of recording uh, files off of your Yaystar S series phone system, and that is by using a Windows Share. Uh, so that is this button here, Add Network Drive. Uh, you can see five pieces of information are available. Uh, this name is a friendly name uh, that you refer to the share as after it's set up. IP address and host name, I generally recommend an IP address, but you can use a host name as well. Uh, share name, it comes from the Windows Share you set up as well as the username and the password here. So let's uh, look at where we get that information. Now I've set up a, uh, a location on this computer already under my C drive called Yaystar and there's a uh, folder here I've created called storage and that's where we're going to save this. So I'm going to go down to properties, right click and then down to properties and that brings up the sharing uh, tab. Now this is Windows 8.1 but other versions of Windows is, are going to be very similar. So I'm going to click share and now uh, you should create a dedicated user on your Windows uh, computer for this. You don't want, really want to use an administrator user or there's a group uh, called Everyone on Windows and, you, and uh, that's available as well. But it opens up uh, access uh, that doesn't need to be uh, opened up. And so it opens up your computer to hacking. It's really not best practice. Create a separate user. I'm going to add this user and choose read write and then share that. Uh, and so you can see I've created a, a, a share called DZ-Z50. That's this computer slash storage. Uh, and so the share name is storage. I'm going to click done, close this, close this, and now we're going to add this network drive. Now I'm going to call this Windows share spaces are not allowed so uh, make sure you don't put spaces in there i do recommend that you use a, uh, a ip address but make sure your windows computer has a static ip address that uh, just rules out any uh, 
issues with resolving a host name on the network. So uh, I, I think it's a little bit more stable, but you do need to have a static IP address. Now, as you remember from uh, the folder setup, this is called storage. And now my uh, access username is the user I created called Yaystar on the Windows computer and then the password for that user. So we're going to click save here. Now it says unmounted. Uh, I may have typed the uh, password in wrong. Let's try that again. Okay, so you can see here that it's now connected. There's 178 gigs of state space available, and now that's available to uh, choose for each one of these locations as well. Another important uh, part of storing files is the auto cleanup. So, of course, if you store uh, files forever, eventually it's going to consume all of your storage and start to fail. So uh, there are some things that are automatically set up by Yaystar, and these are uh, great, uh, they've made some great choices here. Uh, 500,000 half a million CDR records, when it reaches that limit, any of the older records will be deleted. There's also a, a preservation duration, uh, and this is in the number of days. When it says zero, that means there is no limit, but any non-zero uh, value represents the number of days, and any recordings or files older than that date will automatically be removed. So you can do that for the CDRs, voicemail, one-touch recording, uh, other recording, and the log uh, cleanup. So that was video 17, how to use external storage for recordings with your Yaystar S-Series phone system. In video 18, we'll look at backup and restore uh, with your Yaystar S-Series phone system. Now you'll find video 18 on the yaystar.com website by going to the training section. Alternatively, you can go to youtube.com and search for it there. I'm Dar Zook. Thanks for watching.